CERN's important because it's the latest stage in our quest to understand what the universe is made of, how the universe began, possibly even why the universe is here. You know, these questions that everybody, every civilization has asked throughout time. We'll know the origin of mass in the universe, which is an immensely big question. It sounds complicated, but it really is just, you know, why is this stuff that makes up my hand solid? What is that? What makes it like that? Why is, why is my hand, why are the particles in my hand not like particles of light whizzing around at the speed of light? Oh, if you turn the LHC on and you have to rewrite the laws of physics and tear up the textbooks, then that would be the most exciting thing that could happen. And I think in that statement is, a, is an insight into the way that scientists think, because um, what scientists really want is to discover things that are baffling. And, and in a way, that's the opposite. Most people, I think, like to be in a comfort zone and don't like to be baffled. What scientists are attached to is journeying into the unknown and finding out, discovering things that are um, completely unexpected and baffling and surprising. So the best thing that could happen is that we had to tear up the rule book and start again. Um, I hope that'll happen. Popstar becomes a physicist by going to school and going to university and learning about physics in the same way that a non-pop star becomes a physicist. <laughs> if you're asking why, why would you turn your back on music and, and, and go into physics, then you just have to look at what CERN's doing. I mean, what's more interesting? Sort of uh, playing a few gigs, playing some keyboards and, uh, and, and going to a few nightclubs or learning about the way the universe works. Every political party, in my view, underfunds uh, basic research. I'd, I'd argue for doubling the science budget. I'd argue at least for that question to be asked. What would Britain be like if we spent twice as much money on basic research? What would the world be like? Would Britain be a world leader? Would it attract the best brains in the world into, into Britain? And what would that do for the British economy and British society? I would ask questions like that. And you need scientists in political positions and positions of power in Westminster in order to even begin to ask those questions. It is possible, although extremely unlikely, that CERN could create mini black holes. Black holes the size of an electron or smaller. You would require extra dimensions in the universe for that to happen, by the way, which is one of the reasons it's unlikely. But if we can do it, then nature can do it as well. And nature's doing it every second, millions of times a second above our heads. Because the collisions nature makes, the particle collisions, have energies way in excess of those we can create at the LHC. So, so we know it's not, in any sense, even remotely dangerous. A, a, a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> it's, the bad, it's about the only thing you could do just before you got spaghettified. Maybe you should take some tomato sauce, given that you get spaghettified and some garlic bread and some parmesan <laughs> and a nice glass of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Big Bang Day on BBC Radio 4.